So Tamara was treated just over uh, about a year and two months ago with Radiass filler. Um, again, the filler that I use predominantly, I'd say in over 90% of cases in the mid face is a hyaluronic acid filler, whether it's Restylane, Restylane Lift, or Voluma. Um, but Tamara's had very good results and experience with Radiass, and it's another alternative. It's not an HA product, it's a calcium-based product. And so our goal is kind of pretty much to do what she had done and really liked very much just over a year ago. And so if, if you look carefully, you can see there's a little bit of flatness in the cheeks. You see it a little bit more on this cheek. And so we're gonna work on that flatness, which is sort of a, a normal reduction in mid-face fat. And then we're gonna help where her cheekbones are to give her, a, <coughs> excuse me, a gentle enhancement of her cheeks, which again, most people love it. It's kind of like internal makeup. It highlights the cheeks more. So we're gonna be doing both of these things. So we've injected less than a third of a cc, basically 0.4 cc's in this area. It is relatively deep. Okay. After putting some volume in the deep cheek compartment, the inner cheek compartment, we're now putting little boluses, we say, little balls of filler right on her bone. And she can hear it because mm -hmm. there's something called bone conduction in her ear. And I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm going to sit her up and evaluate my results and decide what to do with the rest. So I'm evaluating Tamara now sitting up and we're seeing a really nice improvement here and I'm seeing where she can use a little more, a little more benefit than seeing this area. I'll just to sort of expand her cheek area a little bit and that's where we're going to focus. Okay, so now we're again going to the, the deeper cheek compartment, the medial cheek, and restoring what was lost in terms of fat loss. Look at John Crane. about the same amount as the other side. And now we're going on this side on the bone, same as the other side. Putting little, little balls, basically, that get, that we smooth out right afterwards. Radius is a very moldable material for actually two, three days after injection, and patients need to know that, because you can basically really displace the stuff if you massage it afterwards. So people have to know that. You're doing great, really great. And this is the last drop. Done.